Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. This is the 25th video of Haiyang's Practice Proverb series. Following the same structure as in previous weeks, I will first answer questions about last week's proverb and then move on to the new proverb. So, let's recap last week's proverb first. It was Tai Ji Jian Zhi Jin Li Tong Da Jian Jian. 乃是意念左右动作之结果,非单纯体力之为也,故意念为先。Translation In Tai Chi sword practice, the martial energy should reach the tip of the sword, which results from training the mind instead of relying on the physical strength only. So, the mind is the priority in training. Now, let's answer a question asked by our community member. Outer Last asks, quote, Can you give more explanation on how to train the mind in this practice? I'm still confused about the relation between training until your arms are sore and then mental effort. End quote. Thank you, Outer Last. My proverb introduces the relationship between mental work and sword practice in terms of martial energy training. It does not aim to point out a specific training method for it, so it is normal to be confused. Now, I'd like to take this opportunity to elaborate on it a bit further. First. Working on physical strength such as practicing single sword movements to the extent that the arm becomes sore emphasizes on the physical training aspect. Mental work such as visualization in weapon training needs to be accompanied by physical training. Second, we have to align our mind with physical movements in Fa Jin training. In other words, we should be able to guide our martial energy by coordinating with our mental power in training. These two points are important to understand the proverb. Again, this proverb introduces the relationship and does not aim to teach any specific practice. Furthermore, it is a very advanced topic, and uh, seriously, it is uh, very hard to explain without physical teaching. So, thank you for asking, and I hope my further explanation makes it easier to understand. Now, let's move on to today's proverb. I created this one to introduce an abstract concept in Xiu Dao practice. It is Dan Dao Zhi Tian Di Nai Shi Zi Shen Zhi Zhong, Ran Ju Ni Yu Zi Shen Zhi Zhong, Chi Yo Bunung Shi De Tian Di. This proverb has four sentences organized into two parts. I will translate the Chinese version word by word and then introduce the English version. The first part, Dan Dao Zhi Tian Di Nai Shi Zi Shen Zhi Zhong. Dan Dao means elixir practice or Xiu Dao. Zhi means of. Tian Di means heaven and earth. Nai Shi means just is. Zi Shen means one's body. Zhi means of. Zhong means in. Put together, it means that to practice heaven and earth in Xiu Dao practice. One should know that the concept of heaven and earth is inside of our body. Very often, we see the term Tian Di or heaven and earth in Taoist classics. Actually, this term can mean many things, but in energy refinement practice, it usually means the prenatal energy in the universe. In ancient times, Taoist scholars used the universe 
to express the content in the universe, which is prenatal energy. So, to refine prenatal energy, we should work on it through refining the energy in the body. That is the meaning of the first part of this proverb. The second part, 然拘泥于自身之中，却又不能识得天地。然 means however, 拘泥 means to be restricted or to be limited. 于 means at, 自身 means one's body, 之中 means inside, 却又 means but, 不能 means cannot, 识得 means realize, understand. 天地 means heaven and earth. Put together, it means, however, to refine energy, one should not limit oneself to only the inside of the body. Otherwise, one would not be able to reach the energy of the universe. In other words, in practice. One has to go beyond the inside of the body alone, or one will not be able to understand the real energy in the universe. It is a very abstract proverb indeed. This proverb introduces the concept of a universe, or the heaven and the earth. In Xiu Dao practice, when talking about the universe. It is about the energy in our human body. However, in practice, we have to be able to connect with the energy from the bigger universe, which is outside of our body. So the universe has two meanings here. Xiu Dao practice focuses on the inside of the body, but should not be limited by it, or else. One will not be able to achieve the great elixir. Again, it is a very abstract one, and it takes a lot of practice experience to understand it. Now let's recap this proverb: Heaven and Earth of elixir practice are inside the body. However, if one only looks for heavens and Earth in the body, then One will never be able to understand the meaning of heaven and earth. That brings us to the end of today's video. I hope you found this proverb and its explanation informative, and I hope it benefits your practice. Please post your questions about this proverb in the comment section. I will answer them for you in the first part of next week's video. Thanks for watching. See you next time and enjoy your practice.